and it has finished Tottenham Hotspur 3, Nottingham Forest 1 in a very professional display I'd say. Um, first 15 minutes we played excellently, I thought we started the game well for a start, um, got the goal, I felt we deserved it um, and then Forrest came into it. Uh, first goal was an own goal, well worked by um, Werner on the left hand side, produced the own goal and we thought we were going to go up and run and maybe steamroll them. Did not plan out like that at all. Um, hoping, hoping for that, didn't. Didn't come to fruition. Uh, Forrest grew into the game, um, got their goal, Chris Wood. Uh, ball slid across and it came through a pair of legs and then Chris Wood shot, went for another pair of legs. Um, and then Forrest should have taken the lead really. Um, pretty much took over that second half, that final half an hour or so. Uh, if it wasn't for Vicario, probably would have been out of sight, Forrest. Um, so, yeah, um, things changed. Things had to change at half-time, and Ange Postecoglou done that. He made two changes, Saar Basuma off, Hoibier and Bentecourt on, and they were inspired substitutions. Hoibier sitting in front, and Bentecourt pretty much giving a free roll in the number eight. It almost looked like, uh, when I saw it live, it looked like a 4-1-4-1 formation. Basically, Bentecourt and Madders were pretty much in the tens. Um, and traditional fullbacks. Uh, Madogi and Poro didn't push on as much second half, I have to say, which benefited us. Um, even though Poro got the third goal, we'll come on to that in a second. Um, what, what, was, what was good to see was Spurs finally taking shots from outside the area. Pop shots, nice to see. And that came through the second goal, came from a corner, played short, moved across. Brennan Johnson could have had the shot. It finds its way to Mickey van der Ven on the edge of the box and he lashes a thunderbolt into the net, putting us 2-1 up. That was about five, six minutes into the second half. Um, and then Spurs really took over. Three, four minutes later, Cross comes in, uh, finds its way to Pedro Porro on the half volley, uh, rams the ball into the net, 3-1. And from then onwards, Spurs just really controlled the game. It was nice. It was calm, it was professional, it was one of them where you just felt, just get the job done and move on. Um, and we've done that. Forrest in big trouble, um, above, the goal, above the bottom three, only on goal difference. Um, so they've got to start picking up points somewhere because Luton are breathing down their necks. Um, we move on to Newcastle United next Saturday, 12.30. Nice early start for you Canadians um, out there. Brian, enjoy. Um, but I will be up there. Um, this time last year we had the uh, iconic rant when we lost 6-1. Hopefully it does not repeat itself. It cannot repeat itself. Um, but I expect this is a very different Tottenham team. We are playing with a lot more freedom. There's less em emphasis on defending, which comes to its positives and comes to its negatives. Haven't had a clean sheet at home since Fulham in October um, and only two clean sheets since December. Um, both of them away from home. Need to improve on that aspect. Um, overall, I do think we have the capabilities of going to Newcastle and winning. And then, of course, after that, with the City game being postponed, it is the big one. It is the North London derby. So really, next two games are a must win, basically for my mental health saying, because I'm not going to Newcastle again and getting slapped and I cannot afford us to um, lose to Arsenal after Liverpool drew today. It is back in Arsenal's hands. Um, Let's just hope they slip up along the way. It's the only hope that we've got. Um, other than that, it was a very traditional, good performance. Nice to see Dane Scarlett, a youngster, get a couple of minutes at the end. Um, yeah, um, the changes, he made changes early. There's not much to say really on the game. It's been, it's been a lot of that this season. It's not much that I can talk about. It's been very much action or no action. It's not really, it's not been one where I can actually describe the game to you so I, I do apologise for that but it's not been as entertaining as, as the first 10 games of the season um, very professional very um, at times tough to watch this season but it is a learning curve it is a process we have to trust it we have to learn from it and I think Ange has learned from it he learned from Fulham the 3-0 defeat to Fulham he learned from he learned that you cannot wait to make substitutions while you're 1-0 down or 1-1 because if you fall behind you're chasing the game. He was proactive and has been proactive, he was, which is excellent to see. We, uh, we move to Newcastle next Saturday, hopefully see you there, hopefully there's no more ranting this season, hopefully we go there and put a display and then in two weeks the big one in North London derby. Hopefully, that's the one we have to turn up in. Anyways, if you like make sure you smash the like button, share a comment, 
subscribe. And as always, support the team, not the regime. Come on, you Spurs.